asked him, Heal us, heal us, have great mercy on us, heal us, heal us. They followed him even indoors. Uh, they came to indoors to follow him. They asked him persistently. The blind two men. The blind man came to him and he asked him. So he expanded, finally, he expanded to them and asked, Do you believe that I am able to do this? Do you believe that I am able to do this? I am able to open your eyes? They said, Of course, yes, Lord, yeah. He lied. Then he touched their eyes and said, According to your faith, will it be done to you? Oh, amazing. According to your faith, will it be done to you? According to your faith. Not, not my, but according to your faith, will it be done to you? That means, oh, that means, oh, if you have faith, enough to be healed, uh, enough to be healed, it will be done to you. But now I know you have enough faith, strong faith. So, according to your faith, according to your own faith, you will be healed. You will be healed. According to your faith, okay, I know you have enough strong faith. So, I declare you will, you will be healed. You will be healed because of your faith, because of your strong, great faith. I declare you will be healed. You are healed. According to your faith, will it be done to you? Amen. Amen. Yeah, here also. According to your faith, because of your faith, because you have great faith, you will be healed. Yeah. Not, not because of ah, uh, not because of me, not because of my power, but because of you, because of your faith. Amen. Even the same is true. If you have strong faith, Enough to be healed, you will be healed of any kind of terrible disease, including the most terrible disease named cancer. Okay? So, so, um, the real point, the biggest problem is your faith. If you have enough faith, strong faith, to be healed, enough to be healed, you know, you will be healed. But if you do not have, if you do not have strong faith, if you do not have living faith, if you do not have true faith, if you do not have enough faith, you cannot be healed. So, it's up to you. It's up to you. It's up to your faith. That means it's up to you. The same is true today. You can be healed of any kind of terrible disease. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! It's really up to you. It's really up to you. You don't need to clap to me. Uh, put it in practice, okay? What I really want, want you to do is put into practice and be healed completely. And then come on and give a testimony. Amen. It's up to you. So, my dear pastor, your faith, your faith, your will, your will, your will, your will to be, to be healed, to be healed by, by the power of God. By the power of God, by the power of God, by the grace of God, you will, you will, uh, will, your will has, has healed you. Your faith, in other words, your will to be healed by the power of God has healed you. Has healed you. In other words, you yourself has healed you. Uh, my dear pastors, the God, our God, has already declared, I am the God who heals you. Well, I am the God who heals. Long, long 
time of old, in the time of the Old Testament. Exodus. 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 15, 26. Then we, God is the God who heals you. He heals you of any kind of terrible disease. In other words, He is really. He is the Almighty God. He is already willing. He is already willing to heal you. Okay? He is already willing to heal you. So, so if you have, if you have strong faith enough to be healed, you can be healed. Because God is already willing to heal you. God is already ready to heal you. So it's up to you to be healed or not. Amen. Likewise, God is dearly one to bless you. God dearly wants to bless you abundantly. Because you are a child of God. But it's up to you. It's up to you to be healed or not. It's up to you. Totally. It's up. It's totally up to you to be blessed abundantly, what to be caused abundantly. Okay? It's up to you. So, what I am trying to say is, it's up to you. It's up to your will, your free will, your free will. You can go out, go out there and ask the unbelievers. Ask as all the unbelievers. Why don't you believe in Jesus? They will say to you, I don't like to believe in him. I decided not to believe in him. They used already their own free will. They decided, they decided not to believe in Jesus. Amen. They, decide, they already decided not to believe in Jesus by using their own free will. That's why, by their, in other words, by, their, by using their own will, they will go to hell. Okay? They decided, they already decided not to believe in Jesus. They will go to hell at all. But you have decided to believe in Jesus. Okay? That's why you are here. And maybe you have decided to know God deeply, to know the Bible deeply, regardless of your denominational teachings. Okay? You have decided for my own sake, oh, I need to know the Bible deeply and rightly and clearly, clearly by the true expert in the Bible, not the false, not the false teachers and preachers who are, who are very famous, even though they are very famous, they are, maybe they are not true experts in the Bible. Okay, so I, I decide, I decide to, to attend the, the Bible seminar. And I have to know the Bible deeply, more deeply. I need to know God dearly, deeply. I need to have a very, very intimate fellowship with the Holy Spirit. So I decide to attend the Bible seminar. You have to come here like this. Likewise, you have decided you by using your free will. 